Well, they call it the E3 Summit. It features the newest and the, and the latest in the world of gaming. Yes, Rick Dano joins us live via Skype this morning where he's checking out what is new. Hi there, Rick. Hey, how's it going? We are uh, here at the end to the Pixel Art Gallery. It's pretty much the only place we could get free Wi-Fi here on the oh. E3 floor. <laughs> really? I'm kind of surprised by uh, being there at the summit. So tell us what is new. I've heard about this new cool Wii, the new console for the Wii. It's a little bit more interactive. Is that even possible? Yeah, absolutely. So the new Wii is called the Wii U, and it's going to come out mid to late 2012. Mm -hmm. And there hasn't been price point on it yet, but it's anticipated to be anywhere between 249 and up. So what's different about it, you know, from the it, first it, version? Yeah, they've got a lot of cool things coming with this. They haven't uh, unleashed all the details yet, but what you're looking at on screen is the new controller. It's going to have touch screen uh -huh. on the front of it, as well as the system itself, with, which you're getting a glimpse at now. And uh, it's going to be high definition. So it will use an HDMI connection, which is a little bit different, mm -hmm. and uh, give you high quality video. Wow, so that's fun for families, you know, to have, and those of us who probably don't do gaming often, like <laughs> myself. So, what, but for the people who are really hardcore gamers, what are you seeing there? that's yeah. going to pique their interest. Yeah, you know, so beyond 2012 and looking at the holiday season this year, Nintendo is really coming out strong for the gamers. So the 3DS, their portable system, uh, they're showing very strong titles. So Super Mario Kart and 3D, Luigi's Mansion 2 and 3D, all of these things on the handheld portable system, which is great for the whole family. So that's going to be a hot item this holiday season. Now, is the E3, is it like the Consumer Electronics Show where a lot of this stuff, you mentioned like price points aren't available for the new Wii. Is this things that are sort of conceptual in nature or are these actual products that are in the pipeline now to be released to the public in the next year or two? Yeah, these are actual products that are in the pipeline now. Mm -hmm. So uh, most of what you see on the floor uh, is in development. You actually get some hands-on time with the games. We've had some hands-on time with them. They look amazing. Mm -hmm. They're a lot of fun to play and I think people are really going to enjoy them. And how soon before they actually get out to the consumer? Some of them are actually releasing now. So uh, some of the games that we see today will be released uh, anytime between the next week to the next few months. Uh, some of the other things that we see, such as the Wii U, obviously they're not going to release until next year. And then, of course, on the handheld sides, same sort of thing. What about things, uh, are, is anyone addressing security? You know, we heard about, uh, you know, the hacking mm -hmm. that happened to uh, Sony and the Nintendo. And the hacker said they did it just for yucks. That's got to be kind of scary to anybody who's involved in any kind of online competitions. Yeah. Yeah, security is a really important thing, especially in the gaming community after learning the lessons from Sony. And I think as a result of that, you're seeing a lot of these game companies really take notice of that, looking at their security uh, standards and, and really implementing things to strengthen that. So it's it's been a good lesson learned, and many of these companies are addressing that. We saw that with the Sony press release uh, this past week here. All right. All right, Rick. Rick Dano is a local guy. He's down at the uh, E3 Summit in Los Angeles. Just poking around there on the floor. Thanks for uh, joining us on Good Day this morning. Thanks a bunch. Thanks very much.